hey guys. Um, after the uh, raving reviews of this crazy uh, La Nueva lock um, that I picked last night, um, or night before, um, I thought I'd show you the inside, the operation and the insides of it. I kind of ran out of time. Um, I have not really seen many locks like this. I think they're more popular in Europe and other places. Um, but uh, yeah, it's kind of neat. Um, got it off of eBay. So uh, yeah, let's take a look at it. So what you have is a, it's designed to be surface mounted. Here's the bottom of it. Let's, let's uh, move in for a little better look here. It's designed to be surface mounted on a door. Um, so if, if this is, if my hand is the door and this is the inside, it mounts like that, right? And then this piece, the strike would mount on the door jam or door frame um, on the, again on the inside and I think this is you know if you need to add security and maybe uh, you know they don't want you adding a mortise cylinder maybe the door is not uh, doesn't accommodate that well or whatever um, this adds some security and I mean it's got three bolts it's reasonably strong I don't know how hard this is but you know it's something it comes with some big screws um, and it has a little uh, little latch so when you close the door it'll um, latch shut whether or not the uh, bolts are engaged so it's it's kind of neat um, it works with the key and as you saw in the video let's just make sure yeah we're on frame as you saw in the video um, so when you go to lock this let's say we're on the inside you go to lock this you actually turn this three times around right like that and that that locks it and so when we were when we were SPPing it, I actually had to turn it three times. I think I actually picked it locked, but you know, whatever. Um, and I think in this position, the little latch also locks. Um, now, I don't know that you would ever use it in like this intermediate position or any of the intermediate positions because I still don't think you'd be able to get out the door, but um, you know, that's that. Um, the only difference on the outside, so this would come through the door, would be on the outside of the door facing, you know, trying to get in. Um, the only difference here is that when you turn this, when it's unlocked and you turn it an additional, you know, 120 degrees, it pulls the latch back so you can get in the door. So that's kind of neat. Um, you know, it's a lock, whatever. Um, but, uh, you know, it's got these weird ass cylinders in it. Um, and uh, I've never really seen anything in quite this format before. Um, and kind of a neat mechanism, so I thought we'd take it apart and see what's going on inside. I've already taken it apart once a little bit, um, but you know, just for fun. Um, so we take this screw out, it's just one screw, and then this should lift out. Um, if I can get a tool in there. There we go. All right, and here's the mechanism. Turn that around like that. Now I don't know if the if this is on the outside hard plate or not, but um, it's reasonably thick and kind of shielded. Um, let's just zoom in on the mechanism here. Um, if you're familiar with uh, other locks of this type, it, probably nothing surprising. But basically, what you have is a ca is a cam, and there's one on on the actuator here and there's one on the outside here that are connected to the lock cylinders and the cam swings around and see if, we, if you're gonna be able to see yeah you can see these little teeth here on the bolt and those um, as this as the cam passes through those um, it uh, it actuates the bolt and moves it one third of the travel um, so, I don't know if I can do it by hand or not, but I suspect, yeah, it lifts up on that and then around. So there's, it's deadlocking, so you have to push up on this bar to release the, the little teeth, um, and then it swings around one revolution. And you can see there's tons of grease and stuff in here. Um, so this outside cylinder appears to be, I don't know, kind of like a rim mortise. It's got two screws that hold it in there, and then it's triangular, which is kind of cool. Um, and then the outside lock 
um, cylinder still in frame that's better uh, is um, also bolted in like this and I haven't taken this off so I don't know what's going to happen um, but uh, you can see there's a little tailpiece there that uh, uh, engages with the, uh, this cam bit which is built into the, this plate um, well it's a, a long ass screw hang on um, good going alright so there's a little tailpiece there that's uh, built into this plate um, well it's a long ass screw hang on good going alright so there's a little tailpiece there that's uh, built into this plate um, well it's a long ass screw hang on good going alright so there's a little tailpiece there that's built into this plate um, well it's a long ass screw hang on good going alright so there's a little tailpiece there that's built into this plate um, well it's a long ass screw hang on good going alright there's a little pipe here, a little tube, that, and then a, uh, a round cylinder um, here. Now there's holes here, but interestingly, the pins are not accessible through the holes. Um, this, the uh, plug has does not have uh, cutouts in the bottom, so uh, or it doesn't allow you to pass there. So I, these are just the holes they use to mill the pin chambers in the uh, in the uh, shell. Um, Five pinner, but I suppose you could get other types of locks for it. Probably get a thumb turn for the inside, whatever. Um, an interesting observation is that when this is engaged in the cam, there is absolutely nowhere to stick a shim or a wire or you know a, a bypass tool and get in there and fiddle with the bolt from the outside. So it's pretty secure in that regard. Um, you know. I don't know how hard this metal is or you know what your door is made out of but at least it doesn't have that sort of obvious vulnerability um, so you know kind of a neat lock um, yeah, it's got an evil circlip but uh, yeah so I thought that that was kind of cool and um, I don't know if I'm gonna bother gutting it or not I did suspect that there might be a spool or two in there but um, it wasn't too hard to pick uh, largely because the key bidding if you look at it is uh, I don't know if this is considered zero bitted or not, but um, it's certainly not very hard. <laughs> Those are all zero cuts, and that's like that maybe a max depth. I don't know, but um, so maybe you're meant to swap out some of these pins. But uh, there you go. So Sisa La Nueva. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm pronouncing it with my pathetic understanding of Spanish. Um, I'm going to call it a surface mount deadbolt, um, and that's how it works on the inside. So, anyway, thanks for watching. This is Alex, and as always, have fun and keep it legal. Cheers.